The Koi Carp Trap is a device that is at Lake Waikere. Uh, it's on uh, near Ruahini Road and it's designed to capture invasive fish, which includes koi carp and a range of other invasive fish, uh, catfish, brown bullhead catfish, all non-indigenous um, invasive fish that go into that lake. And what it then does is it passes it through into a bacterial digester, which processes those fish into a fish meal, which we are then using to address other environmental initiatives. Previous research that we had undertaken, along with the University of Waikato, had indicated that the fish pass going into Lake Waikere was a major bottleneck route for um, invasive fish. So a lot of those fish come into the Fongamarino Swamp and then they want to get into Lake Waikere and it provides uh, a location for us to be able to efficiently remove fish from a point source locality. And it's been driven by the need to keep invasive fish under control because invasive fish, through their mode of feeding and their interactions with native species, uh, exacerbate the impacts of other land use effects on water quality. Pest fish like koi carp and brown bullhead catfish pose numerous threats to our aquatic environment. Uh, the first is that koi carp, by the way in which they feed, they sort of vacuum through sediments. They resuspend a lot of sediment back into the water column and what that does is it can release nutrients uh, into the water column and it can exacerbate existing poor water quality. Brown bullhead catfish on the other hand, um, they're sort of more omnivorous and they can directly compete with other native fish for food. So they behave in many in much the same way as um, some of our endemic fish like long finned eels and short finned eels. So when it floods, they'll go onto the floodplain and they'll feed on the same foods that, that, that eels want. So effectively, there's a lot more hungry mouths uh, searching for the same amount of food. So the trap on its own, it would probably be difficult to actually show benefits to the local environment just from a single trap. So it's part of a wider strategy and it's a demonstration site. But nevertheless, the products that we are creating from the trap are going into a range of other environmental initiatives. So the net gain for the environment um, can be shown through replanting using the nutrient that we're harvesting from the koi carp. The koi carp are actually providing a service for us in the sense that by their mode of feeding, they are actually assimilating a lot of the excess nutrients from the environment. They're incorporating it into their flesh. And we're able to capture that and remove that from the environment and put it into places where it's needed. So for instance, into tree growth. So the long-term objective though is to set up um, numerous traps around the place so that we can uh, end up in a strategic deployment of these things to get on top of the carp problem throughout the lower river basin. The community can do quite a lot of things to um, stop the spread of invasive fish. Uh, certainly in areas where invasive fish exist, uh, if people are undertaking fishing activities then abiding by the regulations. Um, at the moment there's a regulation that says that if you catch a koi carp you must kill it. So you cannot return that fish live back to the water. Uh, you cannot distribute uh, that fish to another water body. So um, that's transfer of aquatic life permit would be required to do those sorts of things. Abiding by the regulations and acknowledging that these fish can create problems uh, in other areas um, is the first step to recognising that they shouldn't be doing those things.